A scar starts from rest at the top of a frictionless incline at height of 20.0 meters as shown below. At the bottom of the incline, the scar encounters a horizontal surface where the coefficient of kinetic friction between the skies and snow is 0 0.10. A. Find the scar's speed at the bottom. B. How far does the sky travel on the horizontal surface before coming to rest? Neglect air resistance. So first, let's calculate our velocity. Now, in this case, energy, one that we need to note is that energy is simply conserved. We have conservation of energy. So, we simply have conservation of energy. So, this is simply what will simply help us to solve the first problem. Now, conservation of energy is where the kinetic energy is said to be equal to the potential energy. But kinetic energy is greater as half mv squared, which is equal to the potential, which is mgh. Then across, uh, upon cross multiplication, you get mv squared to be equal to 2mgh. Then we divide both sides by m, leaving us with v squared to be equal to the m cancel out, get 2gh. Then square out both sides, so to remain with v. So this will give us square root of. 2 times gh then v is now equals to the square root of 2 times 9.8 then times 20.0 which is the height so v would be equal to the square root of 392 which gives us our velocity the speed to be 19.8 meters per second so we've answered the first part we now go to the second part B. Now B here, our velocity is given. We're looking for the displacement. We're, given for the, we're looking for the distance before going to rest. So our speed in this case is given, which is 19.8. Our acceleration can be found, which we don't know yet. The one we're looking for is the distance, which we don't know. So let's look at an equation which links this, which is u squared plus 2ax that is when you're looking for the speed given at v squared to equal to u squared which is equal to 2ax then we divide both sides by 2a over 2a giving us our x to be equal to v squared minus u squared over 2a now since u is at rest at x is equal to v squared over 2a okay now let's solve for a now given the friction force at the bottom which is the normal force multiplied by mu now since this is horizontal mean that our normal force will be equals to the weight force which is just mg then multiplied by mu okay now the net force is given as ma of which we divide by m both sides to run with a leaving us our acceleration to be equal to the force over m now here the net force that we have is only the friction force in this case so a is equal to the friction force divided by m while well, that a will be equal to the friction force which is the normal force mg times mu over m m and m cancel mean that our acceleration is equal to g times coefficient of kinetic friction now let's go back to the formula for displacement or distance so we have x to be equal to v squared is v squared over 2a over 2g mu that is for a so x will be equal to v squared which is 19.8 squared divided by 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.210 so on top we get x which is equal to 392.04 divided by 4.116 giving our answer to be 95.24